Welcome to Spreadsheets for Solving Groundwater Flow and Pollution Problems. This spreadsheet is a tutorial is on a gravitational system of groundwater flow. The third problem is the same of a groundwater flow system analysis. And I will show you uh, how to manage in a spreadsheet. Uh, well, the solution using the finite difference uh, steady for a groundwater flow, and you should uh, refer to a previous uh, spreadsheet, a previous tutorial, where uh, I explained this kind of uh, uh, model, of uh, numerical model, with constant uh, kx equal a ky. In this case, kx equal kz, and delta x equal delta y. And for this specific case, delta x equal delta c. You can download this spreadsheet from this uh, website. And this is the first part of three parts. So let's uh, zoom out. But first, let's go to a short review of the uh, what Todd did uh, in 1963. This is the original reference. And well, uh, his research uh, was on a cross-sectional area in a small drainage basins. And uh, well, what he did is just in this cross-sectional uh, with x in this direction, z in this direction, uh, z0 is the elevation. And well, he defined the no-flow boundaries in the left, in the bottom, and in the right part. And also, uh, constant head, uh, sinus, sinusic the form of the water table, inclined water table with the same uh, sine uh, curve. So this is the head superimposed on this uh, boundary. And C0 is just this elevation, x, this uh, direction. Alpha is the slope of this uh, inclined uh, sine uh, curve. A is the amplitude of this sine curve. B is the frequency. And uh, lambda is the period of that uh, sine uh, water table. And this is just th this equation. is a short form of the original equation. And well, he solved it analytically, and this is uh, the main solution. I just bring uh, this figure from this uh, reference. And that's the uh, main features of that uh, uh, flow system analysis that he found uh, regional flow, intermediate flow, and local flow. Uh, well, uh, there are a lot, a lot of evidence uh, in practice. Every uh, basin has this kind of flows. And uh, for example, uh, well, wetlands is one of that evidence. And uh, I will show you yours in, uh, uh, in a moment. So let's back to the uh, spreadsheet. And well, we have here the x direction, and here the z direction. And uh, well, uh, this blue line is just the constant head, the water table, and I use green for these no flow boundaries. So the water table is defined by this equation and is the sum of these three uh, cells. So I just copy the, this is the Z0 value. So I just copy through the whole upper part <coughs> here. And the second is this second term of this equation. So, uh, let's copy also. Okay. And, well, using this, uh, oh, what I did. 
Okay, anyway, here in the water table, in this uh, constant uh, head, is just the sum of these three terms, and you can see here that are the sum of these three terms. So here I have to copy this, oh, sorry, escape. Uh, it's very easy to make mistake. Okay, copy and paste here. Okay, so now if you s use just add these two terms, you got an inclined uh, constant uh, uh, water table. But let's sum the third term. That is this one is this equation is the last term. So just copy and paste. Okay, and now we have this uh, uh, boundary that is that uh, sine curve to that represents uh, the water table. Okay, now as I explained in a previous uh, tutorial, <coughs> yours by the fact that this uh, homogeneous and uh, we have delta x equal delta z constant. And it's very easy, the Laplace type equation is just the sum of the neighbors, the left plus the right plus the upper plus the lower. It's a mean values and divided by four. Okay, so I have this equation and I just copy now to the entire domain. Let's copy here. Da, 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 da. Okay. And just paste the formula. Okay. So now we have uh, this equation and numerically here in all the flow domain. Now, the, the um, no flow boundaries is very easy, it's a tricky uh, form. So, also you can refer as a previous tutorial and it's equal to this. So, just copy, paste. The same for the bottom, that is equal to this, and it is, uh, as I explained previously, is some kind of uh, the it's easy to remember as, as the image theory. And it works for this kind of finite difference solution. So, okay, so now if I don't make, if I didn't make any mistake, we have the finite, uh, yes, we have to find this equation, we have the no flow boundaries and the constant uh, here at the boundaries. So now you just go to the options, the iterative options. So you have to put here iterative calculus is in Spanish, but it's the same in. Let's put just 2000 uh, iterations and manually. Yes, if you put manually, you should press F9. Now let's see F9. And you could see here in the bottom part the iterations. And well, after 2000 iterations, we got this kind of solution, which is not the actual solution. You need much more, more iterations. And uh, well, just to, to, to avoid so many times in, in iteration, I made use of uh, symmetry. Well, uh, you can leap for some minutes and many iterations, but this problem is symmetrically here. So just that tricky to, to
to avoid so many iterations. But let me see if I have the right equation. Yes, the neighbors. Yes, here. Yes, so let's put another 2000 iterations. It takes some seconds. And let's see how the solution looks like. Okay, so now we have the solution. You can uh, have a, a much better the smooth uh, curves if you use more uh, finite different grid and more dense uh, grid. Okay, so uh, that's the solution for the head. <coughs> and now, uh, yes, I show you how to manage the flow. And uh, I use this uh, reference, well, this, uh, I, I use the, the, the dual problem to solve the stream uh, function uh, equation that is also a Laplace type equation. And these two references are good reference. And well, this is the same uh, boundary conditions, but now we have this equation that uh, for, uh, for the flow. And here, in that no-flow boundaries, we have a constant flow. So you can define any value for that constant flow. Let's put 10. Control, copy, paste. Now the bottom. Paste. and the right uh, no flow boundary or constant flow. Okay. Now, since it's uh, an homogeneous Laplace type equation, it's the same as the previous. It's just the left plus the right. Oh, whoop. Mm, no, it's not this one, it's this one plus the upper, plus <coughs> the lower. It's just an arithmetic mean. OK, divided by 4. OK, here we are. And let's copy to the whole domain, but not including the boundaries. OK, well. Now, for the this boundary, it's uh, also this is the the form that you simulate this boundary, and actually it's a sink, a solve sink term, uh, and you just copy this here. It's the same, but you have to. At well, first, uh, uh, you have here to add a sink, uh, well, uh, uh, to R or a minus a sink uh, term that is defined by the difference in head. So I just use the solution for the head for the neighbors cells I show you we are in this cell so is this one minus this one and because there are this is not uh, the neighbor cells but yours mm -hmm. I skip one so I have to divide it by two and because we are in the in a boundary also divided by two. Okay, so, and now, since we are also in a boundary, yes, this is equal to this. And let's copy through the upper part. Okay. And again, if I didn't make any mistake just by pressing 
F9. Here are the iterations in the bottom part. So 2,000 iterations, and well, that's the solution, the numerical solution of the thought problem. Uh, regional flow, intermediate flow, and local flow. And uh, let's back to this presentation. Okay, so just to review what uh, we did, you just define a, a, a constant uh, flow. Now this is for the stream function. And we define a sole sync term by the difference in head. And this is the solution. Well, I, I, this is with more cells, so you can see uh, uh, yeah, a smooth uh, uh, path lines. <coughs> now, well, this is the spreadsheet. And this is the head. And if you superimpose the flow, OK. OK, that's what we got. So that's. Uh, uh, the flow net, and is uh, well. Th there are many uh, features. For example, if you intercept here, there's an observation well or a well and a screen in, in this a key potential which is above the water table or uh, above the uh, surface terrain. If, if it is close to the water table, where well, you can find a flowing water here, intercept this one, so, well, uh, there are many uh, features that you can analyze, and uh, uh, this is the spreadsheet, and, well, that's, uh, for now, um, we will continue with the second part. Thank you very much.